said he looks like the kind of person who wears a mask when he rides his bike outside. Actually, I don't have a bike, so. <laughs> you can see bread on a bike. <laughs> I don't have a bike. He um, probably wears his mask when he's out bear hunting. Oh, yeah. So they can't see my. You know, got to blend in somehow. It's a, it's a camo mask for what it's worth. I mean, you know, got to blend in, man. Who are you guys talking about? Brett. <laughs> no, Josh, I don't. He keeps giving us shit for sneezing and coughing. I'm sorry, I don't want to hang out with the sicklies. I mean, what can I say? Then Kevin over here works in our office, and he's just over here like, oh, what's up? <laughs> Get back in mom's basement. Please, you please don't come back in mom's basement. I won't, you know what? This couch is reserved for Kevin. Yeah. You're sleeping on the couch, Kev. My couch. Working hard at MKC. <laughs> right, Josh? Hey guys, I am back in the shop. Uh, just had a great hunting trip down in New Mexico. Thanks to the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, they sent me down to the Express UU Bar Ranch. Lots of bugling, lots of stuff going on like that. It was really neat. So, went from there uh, to Gary's uh, Ranch, uh, the Circle Dot Outfitters, and we got Isaac Aylman a bull, which was really, really cool. We gave him that hunt, Gary did, and we filmed it. Um, he had lost his daughter, Melissa, uh, this year. She was 18. She, she was born with cerebral palsy. Um, just an amazing experience. Uh, it was a way for Isaac to get out in the field again, kind of some of that mountain therapy. Very moving experience, very cool. Got to hunt with my son down there. Uh, the weather didn't work out real well for him, so we didn't take out, but uh, nonetheless, it was an amazing trip. Lots of things happening. Uh, I'm gonna be in the sharpening room this week. Five or six of our team members are up in Alaska right now fishing. Uh, thanks to Boone's parents. Boone works here. His parents have a fishing charter business up there and they're doing a Team MKC fishing deal. Uh, so they are gone. Andrew is in the mountains hunting. I'm the only executive around, so we're gonna party. Um, it's been a great week. It's been a great last couple weeks. It's hunting season. This is why we do what we do for hunting season. We are getting our uh, token USPS laundry baskets up here. <laughs> I'm gonna use one for all of our USPS orders and then I was hoping for a pallet, but we don't have one, so. Thursday, I took 15 or 20 pallets to the dump. Josh asked me to throw the pallets out. Um, we have a bunch of VIP Magna Cut Blackfoots going out today um, to some very special people. So some big orders going out and I needed a pallet, but we don't have one, so I'll use a basket. What do you got going on here? Oh, well, you know, just getting a little haircut to get ready to go elk hunting. <laughs> How long have you been doing hair for? About two minutes. can't not shoot an elk now. Well, I missed this weekend because I didn't have a bullet. That is why you missed. I know. Travis, you should get a bullet. I want that cut. You look kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, do you want a mullet? <laughs> you, look, you look like Riley. Yeah, he kind of does. You got her. Just wrapping up the podcast here with Francesca Ritchie from Teton Leather Company. And she brought this big ass sword that Will Stelter and Alex Steele made. And she asked me to sharpen it. I'm gonna go down with a 50 grit belt. I'm gonna grind the hell out of this thing and uh, help Will, Will and Alec out. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds great. <laughs> and then Francesca has this beautiful alligator and stingray sheath on it. Yeah, you explain it. So the sheath is steer hide on the base, and then the entire thing is trimmed out in American alligator and stingray. And then if you see, like in the reflection, I matched the pattern of the blade that's got those curvy lines in it as an underlay in the leather. So when it moves, you can actually see what the exact pattern of the blade is, which is super cool because, as you can see, it's got the same curves. And this thing is, I don't know how much this weighs. Do you have some way we can like weigh this? I don't know. Is it as tall as you? Ah, it's heavy. Is it? <laughs> it's exactly, it's exactly the same height as Francesca. Yeah. It's uh, super heavy. Yeah, it's really cool though. 
uh, Francesca does amazing work. She does all of our leather work. Her and her husband and her team do all of our leather work for Montana Knife Company knives. So anything leather goods wise, chef roll, all that on our website. It's just pretty face right here. Uh, we are here in the old shop. Um, I have my bear hide. Uh, I was lucky enough to harvest a bear yesterday, a uh, Montana fall bear on public land. And, um, you know, I'm gonna bring it into Fish and Wildlife to have them hopefully pull the tooth this afternoon and they have to inspect the hide since we're here in region two. But um, I wanted to go over with you guys real quick. I've been using MKC's knives for years, like long before I've ever worked here. Well, I started out with the stone wall and the speed goat, but since then I've added a black foot and the hatchet. So yesterday, the main knife that I used was actually the stone wall skinner, which we just were able to have these in stock full time on our website now. So the stone wall is a skinning knife and it's a G10 handle. This one is the 52100 and they've since come out with a magna cut version as well but there's this belly on the blade that gives you some extra surface area for skinning. So I was fortunate enough to get this bear out whole and I could hang it up. So it made the skinning really easy yesterday, but even if you're in the field, it still works great. I've done a lot of bears with this knife. It's sturdy, it's got a little bit of a thicker spine right here. And then when I was gutting it, I used the black foot because whenever you have to reach up in that body cavity to separate some of the vitals to be able to pull the internal organs out of an animal, a shorter blade is a little bit easier to work with in there. This is a speed goat and it might look a little different because the paracord is not currently on it. I didn't actually use this knife to cut with yesterday. Uh, I did, however, take the paracord off of it because I actually forgot to uh, bring something to attach the tag with. Uh, this is the carcass tag and the transport tag that you have to use for animals when you harvest. I cut the paracord off to attach the tag and I just cut two little holes in here and wrapped it through. Through our generations program, if you ever have to do this in the field or take the paracord off, like if you send it back to us, we will rewrap it for you. This was my very first knife from Montana Knife Company. Probably my favorite tool is the Hellgate hatchet that we released just a couple of months ago. This is something that I'm gonna keep in my pack full time from now on. And the reason is yesterday when I had to split the pelvic bone on this bear, it took like three swipes or three or four swipes and it was done. You know, and it's a super great way to replace a bone saw in your pack. But also on top of that, whenever I separated the, the neck joint on the hide to be able to get the head off, which is up under here, same thing. Um, could separate it really easily. And then on top of that, you know, I keep like the ribs and all that stuff from bears. So you can do this in the field when it's laying on the ground, but as it was hanging, I basically held the ribs and was able to separate them from the spine. And then it came off like nothing. This is probably the thing I've been most excited about to use. And I finally got to get some good use out of it yesterday. Uh, that's the Hellgate hatchet, which we do not have in stock on our website, but we will be having another drop soon. So yeah, that was my weekend. Hope you guys are having a, a great season out there as well. And uh, keep tagging us in your photos and your videos on social media and we'll keep sharing. Hi. <laughs> So we're going to be giving away this uh, Blackfoot Magna Cut. Um, all you have to do is like and comment on this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our email list. And in order to claim your prize as the winner for all of our giveaways, we are emailing you guys. So make sure you're checking any emails that come from Montana Knife Company because you could be a winner. So if you want to win and claim your prize, check your dang email. Don't mess up. Thank <laughs> you.